to another video. This is going to be a continue, uh, continuation of the last video. Uh, hot, uh, Mazak lathe with live tooling. OD drilling. On the last one, that's all we did is drill one OD hole. On this one, we're going to do a line of holes. We're actually going to do five or eight holes in a line by using the machine point line feature. Um, so I'm going to go relatively quick through the beginning of this video. Uh, if you um, are, are still having trouble, you can go look at a previous video of mine. Um, lathe with, Mazak lathe with live tooling, OD drilling point. Uh, this is going to be OD drilling a line of points. Okay, so here's our Mazak machine. Here's our stock. Instead of putting one hole here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to put a line of holes. And then uh, we might even rotate it 90 degrees and then put another line of holes on here. So, uh, all right, let's get cracking. So I've already filled in our header. We got carbon steel, 2.5 OD, zero ID, 7.1 length, 100 thou work face, 2,500 RPM. I'm gonna cursor down, go to, uh, I'm gonna go point machining. Cause we're still machining a point. We're still doing drilling. And we're still doing ZY. All right, position C is going to be zero. We're going to start drilling at zero. Uh, the hole diameter is going to be 250. Depth is going to be 0.5. And no chamfer. Okay, so then our tools come up, just like the last video. Um, you don't have to change anything. Your center drill out, 0.8. You don't have to give it a letter. You don't have to give it a priority. Uh, hole size is 250. Hold that pre-drill, pre-drill, you don't need any of that. 90 degree rough. Center drill cycle. Now when you get to C-SP, which is cutting speed, you come down here and hit HSS Auto. And then that puts in your feeds and speeds for you. So I cursed onto the drill. Gonna drill out 250. Uh, no letter uh, to assign it to. And uh, no priority. Hold diameter 250. Hold depth 0.5. No pre drill. That's a 100 thou drill. It's gonna pack every 125. And get to CSP, which is cutting speed. And we're gonna go HSS Auto. All right, so we did our header, drilling ZY, and then we did our tooling header, spot drill and drill OD. Okay, now curse it down. All right, now, now I can pick a point, arc, or a line, square, grid. I can pick any of these on. Well, I'm gonna pick a line. I want to do uh, six holes. Okay, now that I did a line, it's got a different subcategory than the other question. So under line, the subcategory, that's going to start point Z. So that's where do I want to start in Z? Z is the distance from Z0. So I'm going to start at 375 because I'm going to have my holes 375 apart. Start point is always going to be zero. And start point R. Remember, if the stock is 2.5, your start point radius is going to be 1.25. Start point R is always going to be the radius of the stock. You can't forget that. Start point R is the radius of the stock. All right, now we got a new little value coming up here. This is hole pitch. How do I know it's hole pitch? You come right down here where it says hole pitch in the question and uh, it asks you. So a lot of times you CZ uh, slash PZ, you know, what the heck, Who? what the heck is that? Well, you look down here in this menu, uh, nine times out of 10, it will explain to you um, what you're looking for, especially on a lathe with live tooling because it's a lathe and a mill together. All right, so this is a uh, hole pitch. So remember, we were gonna say 375 apart. All right, now um, it goes to, you cursor to the right and it goes to M. 
Well, what is that? We'll come down here, number of holes. Oh, okay, I want six holes. So M is six holes. Okay, Q, do I want to emit spot drilling? No, I don't want to emit spot drilling. And R return position is always one. Okay, Christian. Oh, okay, I'm going to go shape end and end. All right, so I'm going to go left soft key. Well, I was going to go left soft key. Program. Tool path. I'm going to part. I'm going to go part shape. Doesn't like my cutting pattern. It doesn't like my line. Okay, let's try it again. Let's do a line. Uh, start point Z is going to be. Let's start at a half inch. Start point Y is going to be zero. Start point R is going to be. 1.25 Hole pitch is going to be 0 0.375 0 0.375 hole pitch Number of holes, six. Angle, zero. We do not want to omit spot drilling. And your turn position is one. All right, that should be it. Chip in, in. Okay, let's have key program, tool path, and part shape. All right, okay, there we go. So it must have been something something from the line that wasn't there before. So there's my six holes. And there's my depth. Now let's say you wanted them spaced a little bit further apart. Okay, let's say you're designing this. So you go left soft key program, program edit. And then that's all you gotta do is come down here to the hole pitch and make this hole pitch say 0 0.5 instead of 375. Then you go left soft key program. Tool path, part shape. Now you can see they're further spread apart. Okay, so now let's say that you wanted to do all these holes at 90 degrees and at 180 degrees and 270 degrees. Say you want them to go all the way around the part um, every 90 degrees, because you're only doing them here at zero. Well, it's gonna be a lot to program each one of these holes. So let me just show you a little trick here. So you can go left soft key, program program edit come down here and you can copy this entire process right here and put it below it so, so what we're going to do is we're going to cursor actually we can be cursored right at the top of this process here and we're going to go right soft key and we're going to go unit copy after you get unit copy your program screen comes up and it's saying what program do you want to copy a unit from? you can copy a unit from a different program too it's really handy so say you're using program 32 and you want to copy something from program 35 well you just call up that unit number in here well i'm using program 29 so i'm going to enter 29 input and then it's asking for the unit number input. So I'm using unit number one. And watch what happens when I hit input. Bam. It copies it and it pastes it in there. 
So then I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go right soft key, unit copy. I'm gonna go program 29 input, and then unit number input one input. I'm gonna do that one more time. Left soft key, unit copy, program 29, input, unit number one, input, and I put it at the bottom. So now we have four different processes all doing the same thing well to change it we've got this one going at zero degrees so we're going to cursor down to the second process instead of going at zero degrees for our c-axis we're going to start this one at 90 degrees and then we're going to cursor down and then we're going to start this one at 180 degrees and then we're going to cursor down and we're gonna start this one at 270. So I got start at zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. And now I'm gonna go left soft key, program, tool path, part shape, and bam i have all four sets of holes one at zero degrees 90 270 and 180. so there you go there's your program on od drilling using the line function i'll show you what the tool data looks like real quick there's our tool data you can take a little screenshot of that all right and make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to receive new videos. Uh, thanks and have a good day. Bye-bye.